In this video, we're going to introduce the concept of a transfer function. And to do so, we're going to consider this simple RLC circuit that is being driven by an, an unspecified voltage source. And we're going to define also an output voltage, Vout, which is simply the voltage across this inductor. You'll notice that it's all in the Laplace domain. Now let's write an expression for V out in terms of V in and the circuit parameters using a voltage divider. Or V out of S, the Laplace transform of the output voltage, is equal to the Laplace transform of the input voltage times LS divided by the sum of the three series devices. We now define the transfer function as being the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output voltage divided by the Laplace transform of the input voltage. We're going to refer to that, we're going to call that transfer function H of S. In this case, H of S, the transfer function, is equal to LS divided by R plus 1 over CS plus LS. Generally speaking, this form of the transfer function isn't as useful as another. Generally, we'd like to have the transfer function the form where the polynomial in the denominator is written in descending powers of s, with the coefficient of the highest power of s being 1. To accomplish that, we've got an ls term here, and we have an s in the denominator, the denominator here. If we multiply the denominator by s over l, we cancel the s, or we cancel the l terms here, and we're left with s squared. When we multiply this s over l times the 1 over cs, the s's cancel and we're left with a 1 over lc term down here. And then s over l times r gives us an r over l s term. So multiplying the denominator by this s over l term gives us the denominator in a, a more useful form. Now we can't just multiply the denominator without doing it to the numerator also. And in the numerator, when you have s over l times ls, the l's cancel and you're left with s squared. Thus we have this transfer function. It's a numerical representation or a mathematical representation of this circuit calculated without specifying what the input is. Thus, this transfer function here is independent of the input. And that leads to a very wonderful, a marvelous application or a marvelous way of being able to use H of S. Since the transfer function was defined as the, out, the ratio of the output voltage to the input voltage, we can multiply both sides of this equation by the input voltage and then get V out is equal to V in times H of S. For this circuit here, with this value of H of S, we have then V out is equal to the Laplace transform of the input voltage, which still at yet is unspecified, multiplied by the transfer function. Now, for purposes of an example, let's now specify V in. In the time domain, Vn is nothing more than a simple cosine function with frequency omega and some arbitrary phase angle phi. The Laplace transform of Vn of t, or Vn of s then, is equal to V sub m times s cosine of phi plus omega sine of phi divided by s squared plus omega squared. Notice the beauty of this. We have now then been able to calculate the Laplace transform of the output voltage by multiplying the Laplace transform of our now specified input voltage times the transfer function. All that's left to calculate the output voltage then is to um, inverse Laplace transform this typically done using a partial fraction expansion.